Hi, and welcome to another episode of Not Your Dad's Beer. Today, I'm joined by Daniel Quinn. How are you? Doing well? Doing well. So, like beer? I love beer. It's brand new to here at Euclid Hall. It's really, really getting to the beer program. It really wants to learn. So, I was like, listen, I got a really awesome bottle of uh, Maharaja by Avery. And uh, here we pop it open. You like IPAs? Love IPAs. What's your favorite IPA? I do like the Mercenary from Odell. There you go. Um, and I also like, uh, to like to find it younger. Uh, a couple of my favorites for sure. So he likes double IPA, so it's a good thing we got a double IPA. Perfect. Or an Imperial IPA, any way, any way you want to look at it. So uh, we are here at Euclid Hall, one of the best beer bars here in the, in the state, if not the country. Would you agree? Absolutely. It's a lot of fun here, yeah? Oh, it's a great time. Perfect. So uh, this is one of the one of the really cool double IPAs that we've had before. Being in bottle or on the draft system, you know, we really do represent Avery. They're an awesome brewery. They're located out of Boulder. They do a lot of great, great stuff. Coming up real soon, their anniversary party, which is going to be sick. Uh, maybe we'll see different versions of Maharaja. But Maharaja, an Imperial IPA, comes in just over 10%. It's available in the 22 ounce bomber. Uh, this is a world renowned beer. Uh, when you look at top Imperial IPAs, Maharaja is always up there. Article after article is written about these guys and what they do. Um, this is just the perfect example of what an Imperial IPA should be. Uh, so IPAs, India Pale Ale, Big Big Hops Imperial, starts at 7.5% ABV, goes all the way up to 10, uh, or a little bit higher in this case. Um, so you're looking at just big alcohol with huge, huge hops behind it. Every IPA, as you know, out there is completely different. So we're about to taste what this one's going to be like. So it's still slightly chilled, um, but a little bit warm, so it's right around the time where all the flavors are going to come pop and it's going to be subdued. And we're going to go ahead and pop it open and see what it tastes like. Let's do it. All right, Dan, you ready? Ready. Let's pop it. All right. This is Avery's Maharaja. You look like a season pro. I like it. <laughs> Done it once or twice. Let's get a good pour in there. Don't be shy. There we go. Perfect. Look at that. All right. So as you can see, right off the bat, um, big, big head probably super, super malty behind it. Uh, the color itself is kind of a nice little mocha cocoa, wouldn't you say? But yeah, definitely. It's, it's an off-white, but it's not uh, It's not too, too white. Yes. So you really get in there, tight, tight bubbles to it. The color itself of the beer, if you flip it up, and get in a little bit of light, it's just like a very deep, deep orange. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, almost an amber color. Very, very amber. Very dark, has All some right, really so good hues to it. Smell so give it a good swirl, just like wine. You want to really get the air in there, it's going to allow it to uh, bring up all the flavors, right? Very aromatic. What we're going for, let's give it a smell. So, we get yeah, excellent. Whew. Right off the bat, big, big citrus grapefruit, resin style hops. A little sweet, too. You get the sweetness, I definitely get the sweetness off there, absolutely. Poppy sweet goodness, it's really good. Um, Big grapefruit citrus notes is definitely coming from the hops involved. Sweet is balanced out with, of course, the malts. When you put them two together, you're always getting a sweet flavor. It doesn't smell too dry, so let's give it a, a ching ching and a swish and see what this tastes like. Cheers. Oh, yeah. It's so good. Oh, it's delicious. All right, so what are you getting? Fire away, like a snap. Just tell me everything you're tasting. Tastes a lot of hops. I mean, instantly you can't go wrong. You definitely taste the hops right away. Um, a little bit bitter, but it's not overpowering. Um, very well balanced by the balls that are there as well. Very balanced. That's the key. When you get into the big and pure IPAs, you can go one of two ways. One is very balanced and subtle and subdued, which is what this is. Or you get to the super massive hop bombs, which are just going to knock you in the face like going Tyson to a punch. Um, I like this a lot. Uh, the malts are super big, super thick. This is a meal. Um, can you imagine popping one of those doing a solo? Like it's gonna take you a little bit of time. Uh, that will that will put you under if you try to do that. I definitely recommend sharing with a friend. Absolutely. Uh, sweet citrus notes are, are definitely what I'm getting. A lot of grapefruit. Um, the, the the hops are there, slightly drying the finish, but the malts really coat the palate, so it's smooth going through from start to finish. Yeah. Creeps up on the back, but it's not dry. Uh, I can't get over the malt. The malt is awesome. It's very start in the very back of the palate, kind of work the way up front. You do get sweet on the very tip of the tongue, and you're just getting a lot of citrus notes right off the hops, which is nice. I mean, I'm pulling a ton of grapefruit, a little bit of grassy notes, but nothing too, too big. 
ah, it's so good. I just want to smell it. I don't even want to drink it. I just want to smell it all day. Like, can I? Can you, Avery? Can you make a candle that smells like Maharaja? <laughs> Who would you drink throwing it out there? Uh, personally, I can drink it just about any time. Uh, it's it's a good beer. It's something uh, you know, dinner time, uh, winter time, summer time. I, I think I can drink it just about whenever. What would you pair? Oh boy, that's a good question. Are um, you sipping this? What do you want to eat right now? If we didn't already just have lunch. If we didn't just have lunch, I'd probably pair it with what we just had lunch, actually. There you go. I'd, I'd pair it with the biker chips board dog, man. That was excellent. There you go. Biker nice. chips, man. You got that smokiness off the board. It's going to hit with this. Uh, when you get into the IPAs, you really want an IPA with something heavy and greasy or fatty because A, the carbonation of the beer in general, cleans the palate, B, the hops are going to really bounce off. So, yeah, Avery, Maharaja, Curl IPA, world renowned, 10% plus. 22 ounce Walmart. This is available only really is released in March. It's really good. It's part of their Dictator series. Uh, so thank you for joining us, Daniel Quinn. Obviously a pleasure. Cheers. Cheers. We'll see you next time. Oh, fantastic. This is not your dad's beer.